Welcome to the webinar. Today we're speaking to Marcus Erhard, all the way from Rustart in Germany. Uh, Marcus, we'd like to speak to you today about your, your myofascial taping courses, which are taking the world by storm. Yeah. I think you've done over 500 of them now uh, with uh, physiotherapists, osteos, doctors, trainers, sports scientists, and you've been into a lot of very major league heavy clubs to do some in-house training with them as well. You have a, an arm that certifies practitioners in your techniques. It sounds like things are going really well, Marcus. And also, yeah. you've, you've, you've also yeah. presented at two very prestigious conferences in the last few weeks, and you're yeah. set to present another one very soon. Can you firstly yeah. tell us about the most recent conference that you presented at, and who was there, what was the buzz like, and what are we, what's, what are we learning about? Uh, how's this going to apply to your myofascial taping courses? Yeah, uh, for me, the most uh, thrilling one was the Fascia Summit in Munich from Perform Better. Um, I'm running courses for them uh, in my myofascial taping <clears throat> uh, since last year. Oh, actually, no, the first one is uh, coming up. I have, I have presenting for them uh, first time last July. They have a functional training summit and they have prepared for over one year for the fascia summit in Munich now and it was a brilliant event and it was uh, I'm really honored to be or that I was part of it still being part of it um, because the presenters were just brilliant uh, people I knew Tom Myers for sure and uh, Robert Schleip uh, Sue Hitzman Michael Cohen <coughs> and myself so it was a great time it was two days with uh, many lectures I had three lectures myself um, on myofascial taping and how it can control the myofascial tension and therefore control myofascial pain syndromes or pain in general um, and also enhance your movement in the end when I break it down it's I just uh, bring you back to pain free and powerful good control movement Okay, so you were rubbing some sh rubbing shoulders with uh, the the fascia elite. It sounds like that. Yeah, uh, was that was that a thrill, or had you met uh, all those people before? Uh, many of them I have met before, so I I'm still uh, I have been already part of that family. I say um, some of them was the first contact, uh, and it definitely was not the last contact. Uh, Sue Hitzman was a uh, Nice to see her uh, melt method, and I could talk to her about my my fascial taping method. And she already g gave me credits in advance, even though she has not seen me performing or demonstrating it. <laughs> and she wrote in my Facebook page, for her it sounds like the first intelligent taping. Um, I'm speechless, <laughs> but. Um, Actually, if you see me performing, uh, that makes many people speechless because it's uh, um, really nice how quick, quickly and reliably you can kill pain in when you can control motion. And yeah, it was nice chatting with them and also um, sharing thoughts, um, also learning new stuff. So I'm learning a lot from them. Uh, I have not learned everything yet. <laughs> Um, also uh, discussing about research projects that uh, they have done, I am doing, and it's it's really, I think it, it was a really nice kickstart. I think for me, I'm working on fascia uh, or the myofascial taping for almost 10 years now, but still <clears throat> the whole um, industry or the research, I think we're just at the beginning of it. And I'm, I'm really excited about the, the things that will come up in near future. Certainly. You're going to give us a little bit of a presentation uh, uh, in a few minutes. Uh, what about the other the conference, the other one that you went to as well? What was How did that differ from the... Oh, yeah, that was way different. <laughs> it was the ISPRO. Yes. It's, it's for uh, yeah sports industries. But they have uh, now established a, um, a health and fitness kind of uh, area which is a little bit newer I think it was the second time now so it was health and fitness and there was this 
actually a special part just focusing fascia uh, and that's where I also presented <clears throat> um, so that was a spread from all different industries professions from fitness trainers uh, personal trainers to to uh, physiotherapists osteopaths doctors pretty much everything um, and it was uh, also the the kickoff um, for Black Roll and me because I'm working with them they asked me if we could uh, get together and uh, because it's, it's a good match so it, it was a presentation on how to combine the myofascial taping with the Black Roll the, the fascia roll and or the my, self myofascial release um, technique um, yeah it's, it's nice to combine things um, the taping itself it's it's fantastic. I really love it because the results come in a split of split of a second, and uh, you can see kind of miracles. <laughs> People having pain for years, and and I just taping away the pain in a few minutes often. Um, but in the end, I think it's a good. It needs a good combination. I also use my hands doing manual myofascial release techniques for uh, structures where that are too deep, like the, uh, uh, at the, at the abdomen, so the deep part of the abdomen, or iliacus, uh, psoas, deep flexors of the uh, thigh, um, or the external rotators, that's where I do have my, I, I really need to, to use my hands, because they're too deep. I can uh, influence them with the taping when I uh, taped the, the whole chains, so indirectly, Everything else I can affect with the tape directly, but still um, I also want to get information out of my hands when I go through the tissue and see if there's a lot of tension um, or a little gap, some injuries, because that's also influencing my strategy of how I will tape. But still, the taping is my revolutionary method, I'd say. Because it's quite uh, different to kinesiology taping, even though it looks so similar, uh, sometimes it's the same, but uh, you cannot imagine how different it is. You have to see it, you have to feel it. Yes, I thought that will certainly uh, be interested in seeing what your sp what your take is on it and what physiological yeah. mechanisms that you uh, think that you that yeah. you think that you're affecting in that as well. Just lastly, just on those uh, those conferences that you were presenting at how much of a buzz was it after you'd finished and people wanted to come over and talk to you and ask you questions and yeah. uh, tell uh, us more. Uh, that was ridiculous because after my speeches uh, or presentations, the my stand was just crowded. And I, I offered people that if they want to come to the stand, I will take them for any particular, yeah, any 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 problems, any dysfunction, any pain or discomfort uh, or restrictions, and then in the end I was crowded, circled by many people and taping one after the other, and so in the end it was I think thirty to forty people that I taped, and I it was really nice. Maybe two people had no hundred percent pain free effects in the end but all the others are quite happy I, I made many videos <clears throat> so I taped uh, I videotaped my taping <laughs> and yes. and then I just uh, uh, interviewed them um, about their problems and uh, pain syndromes where it came from how long it persisted uh, how high the ratio of pain was and then you can see after each tape, sometimes it takes one or two tapes and it's just they are free, the tissue is free, the tension is normalized. Sometimes it takes a little bit more depending on on the problem. If it's not too 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 acutely inflamed and if there's not too deep scar tissue, then there's not much that can hinder me from taking the pain away and keep it also away. And so that attracts people, and more and more people gathered around me, 
uh, was quite quite nice and um, yeah people people were amazed and it's that's it's really it, it's fun to have these effects so quickly and but not also for a long time period of time but also in a, in a long term and so every Body knew in the end who Marcus Erhard was. <laughs> I also had feedback that I was their highlight, so that was, that's my highlight to be the highlight of them uh, of, of the Fascia Summit. Um, uh, it was just a brilliant, brilliant event. Yeah.